music, writing, art, photography, some of the youth cultural arts programs supported by the Julio Martinez Memorial Fund. They help young people who receive services from Acacia Network express their creativity, build their self-esteem, and have fun. The fund also gives college scholarships to outstanding Bronx students. 11 were awarded this year. The scholarship will allow me to continue my studies for my master's and um, and pursuing a degree, a dual degree in MSW slash JD. Its work is life-changing and practical too. Every year, the Acacia Network has a coat drive to make sure hundreds of kids can face the cold New York winter. As we move on and grew and we establish our programs, we realized that the extended families of our clients really needed uh, assistance of a different kind. And uh, assistance for which uh, we were uh, generally not funded. Julio was an amazing human being. He was born in Puerto Rico, brought to the city when he was two, and ran into trouble with heroin as a teen. I met Julio in 1964 in a detox. Then I met him again in 1966 when he and I went to that detox for the last time. And the hospital administration wasn't actually doing anything for us. So Julio right away starts the movement. We gotta do something. And one time, one, one weekend, he went out on a pass and he got two furnished rooms. I came back to the hospital, talked to 15 of us, and six of us joined him and we left the hospital. And we moved into those two furnished rooms at 205 West 85th Street, and we called the place Phoenix House. That's the story, the true story of Phoenix House. And Julio was one of the first activists to do that. Also with Pagan, he formed Project Return for Addicts. Then he became involved in community organizing after going into a storefront run by a childhood friend. Then he gets this opportunity when he passes by 107 in Lexington Avenue, and there we have this storefront where we're working to help community, you know, community housing, deal with community housing problems, and he gets involved with us. And after that, you know, he continues to develop and becomes commissioner. Shifting the focus of drug abuse treatment from the state to community-based organizations like Acacia. Acacia Building, Franklin Avenue. The commissioner felt that the city of New York was not doing enough for the substance abuser. At one point, the mayor saw that Julio was right, and he gave Julio seven buildings. So I tell you, Julio was a magnificent human being the Julio Martinez Memorial Fund continues his work by providing opportunities for young people. The scholarships that they receive from us are so important to us because they see the scholarships coming from the same agency that is helping their parents. And so we've developed a relationship as family. They really see us as family. Not only are we helping their parents, but we're helping them achieve success. Uh, so that's very rewarding for us at Acacia Network.